I am back. Although I tried to delete the other one. So we'll see if, um, if it deleted or not. Oh, this is crazy. I have no idea. It was showing in black and white. Okay. Looks like I'm, I'm good to go again. It was showing in black and white and I would never want to do this in black and white. That makes no sense. Part of the point is to see all the beautiful colors of the fabric and all right. So I don't know if anybody even knows I decided to go live kind of impromptu, um, but I needed some frogs for a craft show tomorrow. So anyway, I am just going to blather away and you guys can listen to me or not. If anybody pops in and says hello, that would be really, really great. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. There is, we found out the other day from my um, sister's husband that there is a 26 second delay for video for what, how I'm speaking or what I'm doing and then what you guys see. So that accounts for like, if I'm talking and you respond, I don't see it for almost a half a minute, which is considerable actually. On the other hand, I realize that they can't, it's technology and it takes, yeah, maybe someday it'll be instantaneous. Who knows? So this frog is actually a, a custom order. Um, a good, um, a good friend, I guess she's become is, um, wanted a frog that looked a little more like frogs do in nature. She wanted a more of an olive green and then a green belly on it. So I, um, made up this middle the, the belly a little bit ago with green and the crazy quilt technique that I use. And, um, so I thought I would just sew this one first. And then, um, I have a green one with blue stars and then has a blue belly. And I'm going to be sewing that one in a few minutes. But really, I, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and start doing my ver my videos vertical. Um, there's a new platform out there um, called Instagram TV. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but I think if you subscribe to my Instagram feed, then you automatically are in my Instagram TV. So you have to upload videos. I tried to find if you could do it live on there a little bit ago, and it does not look like they have live yet, um, but I'm not sure. I, it's really new, like within the last couple weeks, it's super new. So I just thought I would get on there and try it. Young and hip, I am not, but if there is something new to try, um, as far as social media and, um, having more people know about the zoo, then I think it is probably worth doing. Okay. There was my one green frog that I had to do. So I'm switching thread to blue for the blue belly on the next frog. The blue belly is not, or the blue bellied frog is not a custom order. I just, that one was just kind of me being creative, which I will show you here in a second when my thread is back on my machine. All right, there we go. See that one? Um, you see the blue stars on the green fabric. I thought it was pretty cute. Make a good frog. <clears throat> really, really cute for a baby gift, I think. But this one is not spoken for. It'll just go to craft shows or be in our live sales um, until it finds a good home or a good pond to hop around in. This is minky and it's got um, a pretty short pile and the, the pile of it refers to how thick the, we'd call it fur, <laughs> but how thick the fuzziness part is. Yeah, so this one will be a one of a kind also one of a kind because I bought a remnant of this fabric and I pretty have pretty much had 
enough fabric for one one frog. Although Emily is supposed to come down here later today and cut more frogs out of some more fabric for me. I think I have about eight, eight, ten frogs that I'm going to sew this morning um, just to be ready for tomorrow. Okay, moving on to my white bellies. In the last couple of days, I um, sewed all the bellies for the frogs and the wings on the chickens because those chickens were pretty popular. I had sewn four of them and two, um, one was a special or an order that, um, was the very first frog or chicken, sorry. And then, um, somebody piped up with, Oh, I would like the next one. And then, um, somebody on another page said, I would like one. So three, I guess are spoken for out of the four that I made. So I'm like, Oh, I better get some more chicken started. So I have some for craft shows and my sister has some for craft shows and It'll be going up on Etsy and our website. Tomorrow, um, I am going to be in um, Knoxville, Iowa, um, at um, Peace Tree Brewing Company. <clears throat> and I apologize. My voice is a little rough. I can't tell if I have a summer cold or the pollen is really high right now. And it could just be kind of a nasty case of the allergies. I don't really know what it is. Oh, and this is kind of fun news. I got, I got, I did not get my daughter, Anna bought a puppy yesterday. So we have an eight week old puppy. It is a um, cross between a Australian Shepherd and a Border Collie. Uh, we went to pick it up at the farm yesterday and then we promptly, almost promptly after the puppy got a bath, went uptown to the city band concert with the puppy. So the puppy, I think, pretty much got carried around the entire evening by Anna and her friends. We did bring the wagon, but of course, everyone just wanted to carry the puppy. I do have a video on my personal page of, and it looks like Anna dragging the puppy, and I guess she was a little bit, but the puppy just refused to walk, and maybe by that time... She was kind of tired. The puppy's name is Stella Rose. Um, but really, 99% of the evening, that poor puppy was carried. That poor puppy. That very spoiled puppy last night was carried around uptown. Anna decided that City Band sounded fun. She plays the baritone in the high school band. And her friend is in City Band and encouraged her to join. I guess I should have talked a little bit about some of the fabric I was using. I did a upholstery um, one that I just had a little bit left of, enough for a frog. I had some purple flowers, kind of green in there too. And then I'm doing a couple in an olive green corduroy which seem more like a toad than a frog, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. And the, the belly is the crazy quilt technique that I use, which is just scraps of my white and cream fabrics, all different shapes, um, some more triangular, some just stripes different patterns, a lot of eyelet, a lot of white on white. And there's definitely some more creams or beiges in there. 
and I see some of that foundation. I It starts, I don't know if you can see that in there, but it starts on a foundation. And so I tried to keep the foundation um, light colored for the white fabric going underneath. And um, it was just poking through, but you can kind of see it there in the eyelets. I think you can see that maybe. Um, it's not, it's not super noticeable, so it just kind of blends in there, but I didn't, some of the foundation pieces that I use with my crazy quilting is like really dark colors or whatever, because I use old sheets. I use really outdated fabric, like from the 80s, just stuff that I know that it doesn't appeal to me so that I, I know that I will never use it. So I, I find another way rather than throwing it away. I find another use for it, which is the underneath. So you won't, it's kind of the backing and that's what I, I sew my crazy quilt pieces on. That makes the belly of the frog in this case. And I was talking a little bit about chickens and I use that for the chicken wings. So yesterday I sewed enough wings for eight chickens, enough, did I do like maybe 14 frogs yesterday? And I'm not going to do all of those. I just wanted some extra pieces in mustache. It's a lighter green fleece for this one. I don't remember why I had this light green fleece, but I think I had three or four yards of it, which with these animals... That's a lot of animals, so I'm just trying to use it for dinosaurs and frogs, and I did a couple of unicorns, which were pretty cute, but it also takes a specific person to like a green unicorn. So I think frogs, oh goodness, it's showing you here again, I don't know if it's the way it's being sewn or what here, but I'll just trim a little bit more off. Anyway, green unicorns did not end up being super popular. We added some like brighter pinks and greens with it too, just to kind of help. So I, anyway, I still have more of this fabric and I'll try and get it used up. Maybe Emily will cut me, but I think it's a much better frog. This would be really sweet in a little boy nursery. I could see a little bow tie here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the eyes on the frogs and their smiles since we're, we're working on all of this. I kind of check this one before I see if it needs trimmed anywhere. So it is super hot here in Iowa today. Is it hot where you guys are? It's been really rainy, really rainy. Like almost every day we have had rain and significant rain too. I think, oh, I think my throat just broke. Maybe one day last week we did not have rain within a 24 hour period. It was just boom, boom, boom. And like thunderstorms too. It's just crazy weather. And now it's like blistering hot out there and humid, of course super humid. Oh, another thing that um, we are working on besides Instagram TV, which I talked about a little bit ago, is getting a YouTube channel with these live videos on, on it. My son Joshua said he would be happy to help me. I love it when I can find something my kids are truly interested in helping with. Yes, they have stuffed animals. They have sewn up, <coughs> excuse me, sewn up the bottoms of animals. I'm going to take a drink here. They have sewn up the bottoms of animals. They've sewn eyes on the animals, the buttons on the animals for me before. They help with craft shows, but you know, a lot of that is, oh, okay, mom, I'll help you. It's like twisting their arms and I'm like, but you guys like the electricity in our house, don't you? Yes, mom. <laughs> so 
So if I can find something like, hey, Josh, work on my YouTube channel. And he's actually interested in it. That's a win-win. All right, getting a little more traditional on our frogs here with the, the darker green. And uh, once again, this can you kind of see the difference in the colors as I, I kind of break, break, I don't know if that's the right word, the, the pile, the opposite direction. And then if you smooth it back down, it's a little bit lighter green. So this is kind of a, it's super duper soft, but it's a shorter pile on this minky. And the last frog I did was fleece. So there's the difference is fleece or minky, or I guess I've used corduroy and upholstery and these frogs today. And Emily is going to cut out one that is got a metallic kind of a crocodile pattern to it that I've used on turtles. And then she's going to do like a leafy green one. And um, I don't know. I just put a pile of fabric together and she's pretty good about cutting, cutting out what I need. After this one, there's one more of the, this green minky, and then we're going to move on to eyes. I also am going to have her cut out smaller frogs. We have a pencil pouch coming in this frog shape, obviously a lot smaller, but I thought that would also make a cute little frog that I will stuff. So pencil pouches and little frogs are in the works. Also think the frog would make a really cute backpack. But I'm gonna have to figure that one out. That one's not just coming right to mind what I should do with that. It's gonna take a little more finagling. I don't know if you guys know that I make backpacks. All of my animals can be put on, like just the fronts of them can be put on kind of a square backpack. And it, the size I make is generally good for toddlers, but it would make an okay preschool backpack. If anybody's heading off to preschool this fall, it'd be a really, really fun preschool backpack. With any animal, I can do the minkies, I can do um, cottons, whatever color, whatever animal. I did a monkey for a friend, and I think that one is on the Etsy site. I don't know if it's on our website or not. But wouldn't it be fun to carry around a big frog backpack? Anna carries around an old beat-up camo one that was my brother's for a while. I'm like, seriously, child, you can't. <laughs> All right, moving on to eyes. You cannot carry a nicer-looking purse. Your mom can make you one. All right, here go the eyes. I'm going to pin those on just for... They don't move around. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is just pretty scratchy. Now, once I start sewing, the pens can come off. It'll stay in place with the stitches that got put on. I, I don't know if I finished telling you guys about this, but tomorrow I'll be in Knoxville, um, Iowa. 
Knoxville, Iowa has sprint car races. And um, there is a brewing company there called Peace Tree Brewing Company. And I'm going to be there from 10 to 5 tomorrow. Where are my little cookies? Okay, I got rid of him. I, he'll probably call back and I'll ignore him again. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, they're a Peace Tree Brewing Company. It's pretty popular around here, I guess. So 10 to 5 tomorrow in Knoxville. And I will have some of these frogs all ready to go. <clears throat> trying to think if I have any interesting things to tell you about besides that. <laughs> My mind just went blank. Well, not really blank. I'm thinking about other things while I sew. Okay, and I wonder, can I tell how long I've been on? Um, hey, Rebecca. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know when since I started. So, oh, there it is. I've been on for twenty-two minutes. Okay, <clears throat> twenty-two minutes of sewing frogs. You see what my day consists of? <laughs> sewing, 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 sewing. I was trying to get ready for our fall craft show season, Christmas orders, etc. And then um, a wonderful thing happened last week. Uh, um, a lady stopped and bought animals for a retirement home near her, which was incredibly generous. She bought many animals and it was very, very kind. She just literally donated them to the residents in this home. And the um, pictures are on our Sir Winslow Explorer page. So it's not our regular page. Um, so you can see those if you join our group. But just the smiles on the face of the residents, it's, it was just, it was so touching to see. Our mom worked in a retirement uh, home for many years. I think she was there for at least 12 years until she needed to retire for medical reasons. And um, she just absolutely would have loved that um, for that to have happened for the residents, especially the ones that maybe family was a little further away and it was harder to visit. It just, she really would have gotten a kick out of um, Sandy coming and doing that for the residents. Of course, then she would have gotten to be in her bonnet and said, hey, Meg, <laughs> why don't you make up one for each of the residents here? That would be awesome. But actually, our facility got torn down and a couple new ones, well, a couple new ones built. And then um, this one got torn down. It was... Yeah, anyway, I probably shouldn't go there. Kind of sad. It was sad because I worked there as a cook in the kitchen for a long time, and I had some good friends from there, or have some good friends from those times. That was a while ago. I worked there um, until Joshua, a month before Joshua was born. I had to quit. Um, and... 
uh, so I, Joshua will be 14 <laughs> next month. Well, in August, beginning of August. So I have not had a job outside of our home or this for almost four. Well, actually, if I quit a month before he was born and we're about there. Yeah. I haven't had a job for 14 years. Because I really can't even call this a job. This is too fun. This is like almost pure enjoyment. hear footsteps and I think my husband is coming downstairs yes I am correct it is my husband and let's see if he says anything or not I'm talking to <laughs> I am talking to my hey can you okay what? do you want some money for lunch is yes. that what you're after hi okay they didn't really need that right there in the envelope sweetie don't Andy right there envelope are you alive now? Yes, I am. Oh, I can't gripe. No, griping would be bad. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, keep up the good work, dude. I appreciate <laughs> all the effort that you did. <laughs> Stop it. Don't make me laugh. You're full of crap. Could you make your husband something, please? No. Like him his underwear? Yes, I will hem your underwear right away. I'm on that when I'm done with my frogs and my chickens and my llamas and my <sighs> crap. Bethany, if you watch this later, I need llamas. Please pack llamas. Don't forget llamas. I'm not going to get llamas done today. Or maybe I, I think I have one llama. You're going to have to bring llamas, Beth. Bethany is coming tomorrow. Actually, she's coming this evening. And that reminds me, I need to tell Emily she needs to go wash the sheets. Meg, I'm hungry. Anna, you're home by yourself. Find some food. There's salad in there from supper the other night, Anna. Okay, back to the green corduroy frog. Well, I have to tell you that this green corduroy also came from the thrift store. But it was just a a section of fabric. It wasn't a shirt or anything. Okay. My machine was not happy with me. <clears throat> so, Anna, I'm pretty much going to ignore you. And you chose to stay home with your new puppy, which I got to talk about. So you're going to have to find salad has become trash. Oh, has it? Well, the chickens will like it. You can go feed it to the chickens. Well, you can tell it's lunchtime. My family is thinking they need attention. Anna, you could put a picture of your puppy on here. You know, you could do that while I'm live. Then everybody could see what your puppy looks like. You could make, there's bread at home, so you could have eggs and toast. All right. Wonder who else is going to wander down. I hear footsteps upstairs as I say that.
All right, we're getting through the pile here. This is the one I didn't really talk about um, too much when I was sewing it. This is the upholstery one. The other side is actually a little more green, but the flowers, I don't know. I like the other side better. They don't seem as defined on this side because I, I feel like this is the back of the fab of the upholstery because you can see it's not see like that <laughs> yeah so this is definitely the front of it i still think it makes a really cool frog and the sad thing is i don't have any more of it that was it i had a special order for a penguin out of out of this fabric um, some lady had kind of a, she said it sounded very eclectic. It was like Victorian and, um, she wanted lace on it. So he did just a very elegant looking penguin out of this fabric. And so we just had enough for maybe two or three animals. So I think maybe we had a, a bear or an owl out of this too. And then I'm finally finishing it up. Frog. feeling like this frog would be really pretty on a patio like a covered patio maybe a um a porch swing something like that all right we're on to the this fun one again and then one more after that for eyes and then we're going to put some mouths on them I'm finding the fuzzies from the chickens. The chickens are super fluffy and I'm finding that fuzz everywhere. So the thing is I need to cut up more chicken. So there will just be fuzz everywhere. this i think i'm gonna put a blue bow tie on this frog i think that would just be so much fun i started with doing the really traditional stuffed animal frog with the, the green and the white belly um just because i like to on the website and at the i just like to have the really basic animal what you would think you know, what comes to mind when you think of, you know, in this case, frogs or the chickens, the white chickens. But I also like to really get creative with the fabrics and just make those one of a kind pieces, which definitely is going on there. Okay, and then this last one for Betty, who I need to remind that I will have your frog done shortly.
really bad at remembering to turn off my sounds on my phone when I do these things. I feel like I'm all prepared. I have all my fabric in place. I have everything I need right there. And then I forget to turn off <laughs> the sounds on my phone. Oh, well, I am I'm getting better with things, I think. Oh, and it'll just, it'll come. All right, so now we're going to do the, the kind of the smile. And I am guessing, just because she wanted this frog to look a little more like, you know, natural colors. I am feeling, oh, great, there goes, like, all my thread. That um, she would be happier with... A pink mouth rather than a red mouth. I'm just guessing. Could totally be wrong, but that's what I'm feeling in my gut for this one. We're gonna change everything up here thread wise. Put some pink on here. This will probably be the only pink mouth that I think. Uh, I don't know. Ah, we'll see. We'll see as we go here. And this is a little bit thicker fabric on some of the minkies. I will put interfacing behind it just to, otherwise the needle catches funny and you end up with like, it doesn't rip the fabric. That's not what I'm looking for, but it, um, the needle kind of sticks and it pulls funny. So it just adds a little bit of, um, weight to it. Maybe eh, I'm not sure. Okay. So I also have to adjust my, <clears throat> my machine a little bit. Okay. Okay. And now we're like, so we just put a crooked little smile on the frogs, which is just some kind of freestyle. There is absolutely no rhyme or reason to this. And this is one more little thing that makes them look, you know, gives them that individual touch. Okay, this is a really light little mouth, but I think, I think that Betty's going to be happier with a little lighter than that. So, let's see that. Okay, then um, this will get two eyes there in a little bit and I'm not gonna sew those live that's me sewing buttons which I have no idea if that's interesting or not okay so I need some interfacing <coughs> excuse me just really scratchy let's see I did um the fleece is okay it's a little thicker so I need three of interfacing. Oh, and I have a scrap of interfacing there I should have just used, but okay. See how it'll go on the back there? And I'm going to pin it so it stays in place. And then I'll try and keep the, the smile, like, between those. You know, I like pink for this, too, but I would like a darker pink, which I don't have. <clears throat> I'm going to have to, like, wiggle around here, so... shadow moving that's me <clears throat> should just be a little bit brighter pink so I don't need to change the bobbin thread I'm 
interfacing just kind of helps it move through with a tiny little stitch too. And I think I'm also going to save this color for the next one. I don't know, maybe I kind of even like this better than the pink or the darker red. Now I got to do dark red on the... Okay. I'm literally just thinking out loud here. So, yeah, that's going to be really, really cute. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, this doesn't need the, the interfacing because it's just thicker fabric, so... They have smiles and they're happy frogs. <laughs> okay, and let's see. I was going to do this lighter green. I think the fleece is going to be okay without it. Yeah, it seems to be fine. How sweet. I think this one just went frowny. Well, they can't all be happy. <laughs> this is more of a meh frog. Maybe that's better for a teenager. Meh. They say that to me all the time, and it's like, oh, you have to stop. It's so non-committal. Meh. Mostly negative, though, right? Changing the thread up. And I think I've got four more. Back to some happy frogs. No more of those meh frogs. That's happier. 
is too happy. Boy, that's almost too happy. I'm gonna have to cut that out. I think that frog's been drinking. I think that's a nicer frog not quite so hey i'm really really happy <laughs> all right so the last two we're going to need to interface the back of them and once they're stuffed you would probably not even know there was this back here <clears throat> Oops, haha, <laughs> because that's what I need to do. So those, yep. I would forget that the pens were back there. <laughs> That'd be bad. That'd be very bad. Poke little kids. Okay. I feel like you're not moving. Are you calling something? Ugh. This minky that's so soft because it's an acrylic fabric, um, it's really slick. And I feel like it's a little harder to, to sew than some of the other fabrics in the book. But it's so soft. Oh, I just ran over my pen. So I wasn't paying attention. I'm talking about the fabric. So you can kind of see the how the pile is because the the stitching almost disappears into the the pile there that I talked about. You can see how deep it is. Oh, and there's the back. All right, last smile. And um, so these, these green ones, the specific one is available on our website and on Etsy. There's a cute little boy fishing with his frog. Like they're the best friends in the whole world. It's really, really cute. Um, I can't even tell you how much it is at the moment. I should know that before I start. I'm thinking they're 34, but I could be wrong. And that does include your shipping. Shipping is no extra charge. And our website is sirwinslowzoo.com. Joshua, when he was working on the YouTube channel, he's like, Mom, you have to put your website on your videos so people know where to find you. I was like, you can do that? Wow, that's so cool. So, <laughs> thank goodness for the 13-year-olds who, of course, watches a ton of YouTube videos. And he's like, something about, oh, he said merch. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, so they can find your merch, Mom. I'm like, you mean the stuffed animals? Yeah, your merch. Yeah. We call that product <laughs> or inventory. Merch. Okay. I just am not a 13-year-old. Thank goodness anymore. Okay. That is the froggies. Oh, what, it, eight, nine of them that I just sewed? And I'm going to do the eyes later. And then I will post a picture of some of the the more unusual ones that when I get those finished up, hopefully this afternoon, because my sister-in-law is coming over to stuff in a couple of hours. So I'm trying to get them ready for her 
for that. So it was really fun talking with you guys today. As always, I really enjoy sewing for you and showing you the process behind everything. And so you can see um, the work that goes into the animals, the love. Um, even if my husband did pop in and my daughter decided to come in about her lunch, that's okay. So we will catch you guys on our Facebook page and you can follow us on Instagram and you can hopefully see this video on Instagram TV because I'm going to upload that in a little bit and check out our website, sirwinslowzoo.com. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.